Have you ever had a module in Foundry stop working or part of it not work properly after an update? This can be a very frustrating experience, especially if it's a critical module. So let me show you my process of tracking down what exactly in a module is broken and how you can check if there is already a fix for your issue in the works by the developer. Hi there, my name is Fondu, your VTT wizard, and I have over 300 hours using Foundry VTT. On this channel called Dice and Easy, I give you VTT tutorials and daily TTRPG memes as YouTube shorts, so if any of that sounds like your thing, hit that subscribe button down there. Firstly, I want to give a huge thanks to Jean Laplante5972 for the second super thanks on this channel. Thank you so much for your support. I am over the moon to see this kind of support for the content that I make. These may be small steps, but I'm getting that little bit closer to being able to doing this full time. If you would like to show some extra appreciation like Jean Laplante 5972 did, you can do so by pressing the thanks button below the video. Okay, so before we jump into my process of investigating a broken module, I should mention my Foundry setup. I'm using the latest stable release of Foundry version 10 and do note that there was an update to version 10 on June 26th. I cannot guarantee that things will work the same way in all other versions of Foundry. Also, I have a GitHub account which I use to report bugs and to subscribe to issues. Lastly, any and all important links will be down in the description below. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started on my process. So you're most likely watching this video because you have a Foundry VTT module that has a bug in it or isn't working at all. First things first, check that all your modules and game systems are up to date. If you're self-hosting Foundry, go to the game system tab on the Foundry landing page and click update all. And then go to the add on modules tab and click update all. This will update all of your modules and game systems. If you're using the Forge VTT, click the Bazaar button at the top and then click Update All Packages on the left hand side. If the issue still persists after updating everything, we'll need to start looking deeper into what is causing the problem. The first thing we need to identify is if this is a bug, i.e. a part of the module that isn't working properly or the module breaking parts of Foundry Core, or a complete failure of the module where it doesn't work at all. You can figure this out by trying to use the different aspects of the module in question. For example, if Dice So Nice isn't rolling 3D dice, try to roll dice from different parts of your character sheet, items, spells, features, and then try to just roll dice through the chat alone. This way you can see which parts of the module are working and which aren't. This process is going to look different for each module since they work in different ways and have different features. But through this process, you should be able to figure out if it's a bug or if the module is completely broken. Note down the issue for yourself, describing what is happening and what you expect should happen. This information will be useful later on. Okay. We have this figured out, but what exactly is causing the issue? There are two options. One, an update to the module itself broke something. Two, an update to another module, game system, or foundry itself broke something in the module. To narrow down which of the two options it is, we're going to use a module to help us debug the issue. Find the Culprit is a module that will allow us to cut down on the time it takes to debug our module and to, well, find the culprit. Instead of having to deactivate every single module one by one, Find the Culprit will help in automating this process. Firstly, install and turn on the module in your game world. You can find a link to install in the description. Once you've activated the module and your world has refreshed, go to Manage Modules and you will see a new button there titled Find the Culprit. Once you click that, you will now have a new window with a list of all your active modules. Select the module you're having an issue with and press Start. Now your world will refresh and all your modules will be deactivated except the one you chose. Check if the issue still persists. If it does, the module will start a process where it activates only half of your previous modules, refreshing your world and then checking if the issue still persists. This process should eventually land you on the culprit of the issue, i.e. the module itself or another module. Don't worry, there will be prompts after every refresh. Just follow them and if you accidentally close a prompt, you can re open it by manually refreshing your world. Depending on the amount of modules you have, this process could take a while, but it is faster than doing it manually. 
going through this process, we should now know where the issue lies in the module itself or compatibility with another module. And it's time to head to the GitHub page of the module to report the issue. If you're not familiar with GitHub, it's a website and cloud-based service that helps developers store and manage their code, as well as track and control changes to their code. The site is also used to log and keep track of bugs. To find a module's GitHub page, go to the module's Foundry page and click the project URL highlighted text at the top next to the author name. This will take you to the GitHub page of the module. GitHub can look very confusing if you've never used it before, but worry not, we're going to go to the top left and click on issues. This is where all the bugs for the module are logged. The first thing you should check is to see if the issue you're encountering has already been logged here. If you see an issue with a similar title to your issue, click on the issue and open it. Once you open an issue, you can see the original post and any discussion that the developer and the community members might be having. The most important thing for you most likely will be to know when this issue is fixed. To get updates about this issue, hit the subscribe button on the right. This way, you will get email updates whenever there is a comment or change on the issue. However, if your issue isn't listed in the list of issues, it's time to report the bug. Why do we do this? Because if an issue isn't reported, the developer might not be aware of it, and if they aren't aware of an issue, they can't fix it. Click the new issue button and give your issue a descriptive title. In the text box below is where you should describe the issue and give details. Describe what you're trying to achieve, what happens, and what you expect should happen. You should also mention which version of Foundry and the module you're using and which platform you're on, i.e. are you using the Forge or are you self-hosting Foundry? And if you're using the Forge, which browser you're using? Lastly, you should add any potential error messages from the Foundry console into this issue. You can get Foundry console error messages by pressing the F12 key when in your game world and going to the console tab at the top. In the list that appears, you should look for anything that is tinted red. These are error messages. Grab a screenshot of the error message and copy paste them onto the GitHub issue description. Note that you'll need to have encountered the issue with the module in your Foundry world before an error message can appear. If there's no error message to be found, then you can of course skip this step. Now we should have enough info in the issue for the developers so you can click submit new issue and you'll get notified by email if there are any updates to the issue. By the way, you will need a GitHub account to subscribe to an issue or to create an issue. So if you don't have one, create one. Okay, so you've reported the bug. Now what? Well, unfortunately, there's not much more that you can do at this point. If the issue is making playing your game a poor experience, I suggest you turn off the module and wait for a fix. Once you get an update on the GitHub issue that it's fixed and that an update is available, update the module and check if the issue is fixed. But what if the module hasn't been updated in a very long time and it looks unlikely that the issue will get fixed? Then you can try searching for similar modules on Foundry's website. Use keywords like dice, character sheet, etc. that are relevant to the module that you have been using to find a similar module. If you get lucky, someone might have taken the module that you're using and modernized it for the current Foundry version. For example, this happened with Better Roles. It became Ready, Set, Roll thanks to a lovely developer. But in the end, you won't be able to fix the problem yourself. You will just have to hope and wait that the developer We'll fix it. All right, let's recap how to troubleshoot a broken module. First, check that all your modules and game systems are up to date. Second, narrow down whether there are parts of the module that aren't working or if the whole module is broken. Third, use find the culprit to narrow down where the issue resides in the module itself or a compatibility issue. Four, go to the module's GitHub page and see if anyone has already reported the issue. If they have, subscribe to the issue. If they haven't, create a new issue. And five, wait for a fix, but if a fix is not coming, then try to find a new similar module. With these steps, you should be able to better track down what is causing your module to break, and you'll be able to see if it is being fixed by the developer. Hopefully the fix comes sooner rather than later. What are your thoughts on this process? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, I would kindly ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Those two small acts would mean the world to me and they help my videos reach more people. On the screen right now, you're going to see another video of mine where I show you how to add weather effects to your foundry maps. All you need is one module and it's way easier than it sounds. 
Check it out, your players will thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.